The Nigerian Civil Aviation Authority has begun investigations into three aviation fuel suppliers over Mark's Air incident that led to the suspension of its Boeing 737 aircraft type with immediate effect. In the course of its investigation, NCAA identified three aviation fuel suppliers linked to the circumstances that led to a contamination in the commodity supplied to Max Air some days ago. On Thursday, the operations of all Boeing 737 aircraft in the fleet of Max Air were suspended over safety concerns. The suspension was enforced after some of the airline's aircraft were involved in series of incidents. We're joined now by the Director General of Nigeria Civil Aviation Authority, Captain Musa Nohu. Captain Nohu, thank you for joining us on Newsnight. Uh, thank you very much. It's my pleasure to be here. Please paint to us, if you will, a picture of uh, what you've found so far in your investigations. Well, uh, I just received the first preliminary investigation of the uh, oil company in Abuja. And uh, we expect in, uh, the one from Kanu and uh, Lagos tomorrow. Uh, the Max Air aircraft that had the issue in Nayola, where the farm water contamination after the aircraft had landed, uh, had taken fuel that sent it from three different uh, uh, stations one in Lagos, one in uh, Abuja, and one in Kanu. So we uh, focus on a satellite. I investigated this uh, fuel supplies thoroughly to see that process from the time they get fuel to the time fuel is uh, uh, loaded uh, onto the aircraft to ensure that uh, the appropriate standards and quality controls are put in place to ensure the fuel going into an aircraft uh, is uh, it's clean fuel without any uh, contamination. Uh, at the same time, we're also investigating Maxia to see their processes of wallet. So we are yet to determine the specific source of the contamination, but uh, we're taking preemptive measures uh, to ensure that uh, this, this, this uh, occurrence does not happen pending the completion of our ongoing investigations. Uh, Captain Nuhu, I mean, uh, this investigation, is, is uh, the Max Air situation an isolated one or is it, uh, are you, you know, widening the net of investigation mm -hmm. to other uh, airlines? Because, uh, well, Max Air actually claims that it had carried out an internal audit and discovered uh, this uh, you know, water in their fuel uh, before uh, NCAA came in. Well, I don't know if they did conduct an uh, audit or how come they, they found fault in the aircraft. We had a report, uh, actually the first report I got was from passengers and some video that went viral that day and immediately we swung into action uh, to find that, uh, to start <laughs> investigating the issue as regards to the how the fault got into the aircraft. And uh, that particular aircraft in Yola was not allowed to carry uh, any passenger any anymore. So maintenance issue was conducted and he was ferried to Kanoa. It was it's very grounded pending uh, a determination of what uh, the root cause of uh, this contamination, uh, contaminated fuel getting into the aircraft. It could be the fuel supplies, very likely. Uh, it could be Maxia not doing that uh, profit. So, we need, we need to really find out the root cause to avoid this. If it's an isolated maxia issue, then it makes life easy for us to deal with it. But it's the first supplies that we have to go back and find out what other aircraft have taken fuel from uh, any first supplier who is found wanting. And uh, <clears throat> the operators of the aircraft will be notified to carry a certain maintenance check to ensure there's no damage to any of the aircraft component or engine. We appreciate your, your insight and your submission on, on the show tonight. But then you also quoted as saying that you took immediate uh, uh, steps, immediate actions on the day of the incident. What actions were those? And uh, sometimes we, we think that it's better to be proactive. What are your thoughts on uh, proactive measures to forestall a recurrence? 
Operatic measures? Well, the airline operator and the captain of the flight are responsible to ensure that the safety of an aircraft uh, operation and to ensure that the fuel being uh, boarded on the aircraft is not contaminated. They are supposed to do a check before you even start foiling the aircraft for water contamination and other uh, contamination. So uh, that's the proactive measure we can take. Uh, those are the measures that are in place to ensure that uh, uh, contaminated fuel does not uh, get into the aircraft. Uh, when uh, we have the report, the only action we can take is to board uh, to ground that particular aircraft from operating until certain maintenance procedures are done to ensure that no component of the engine or any system in the aircraft has been affected uh, by the contamination to ensure that uh, uh, the continued airworthiness of the aircraft. And what factors, because it, it, we're talking about this water in, you know, fuel of uh, Max Air, uh, are there other infractions on the part of Max Air? Mm -hmm. And I mean, to what extent, really, as a regulator of Nigeria's aviation sector, are you looking at, you know, other airlines to be sure that there are no infractions? Because, I mean, I saw a caption just uh, a few days ago where, uh, you know, an alarmist caption for that matter, that an air crash may happen soon because it looks like the NCAA uh, may not be living up to its regulatory uh, role. Well, we've not had air crash in Nigeria over 10 years, and we intend to keep it that way. Um, uh, Max Air, yeah, they had a couple of infractions, uh, including this. That's what actually led uh, to the suspicion of the uh, of the specs that deals with the 737 operations. Uh, if you remember, they had an incident with, uh, in Abuja where the tire came off uh, on takeoff, and uh, upon landing, they uh, they had a major problem. The other tire busted, and they had a uh, significant problem. Uh, they had a couple of air returns and uh, uh, aborted takeoff. So uh, as the operator, when an airline, as a regulator, when any operator starts having issues, uh, I mean, if it's one, fine, but when you're having two, three issues, it's a cost for alarm, and uh, we just we swing into action. Right now, Maxi Air is uh, grounded. We are going to start a full audit on Monday <coughs> of the airline. And uh, also, uh, depending on what we find out, uh, the appropriate action will be taken. If we find them uh, uh, deficient in area, either in the maintenance, quality control, or whatever, the appropriate measures uh, will, will be put in place. And for the findings, we have three levels of findings. You have level one finding, which means operation stops immediately. You are grounded, no more, until you, you uh, uh, rectify that finding. Then you have level two, which uh, I think you're given uh, a certain number of days to fix that aircraft. And you have level three finding, which is just advisory uh, to the operator. So depending on the uh, findings we have, uh, uh, we'll determine the action that will be taken uh, going forward. And it's not just to solve the problem. We don't deal with solving the symptoms we we'll go and find out what is the root cause, what is creating this problem. And we have to deal it from the root cause uh, issues, what uh, the issues that create these problems. And uh, so it's going to be quite a uh, comprehensive and uh, full audit uh, starting Monday and Max Air. And at this point, I must say the Max Air management has been very cooperative. Uh, we've had several meetings with them and they understand. And uh, so far, They've been co uh, cooperating, and I hope they continue cooperating with us once the uh, audit starts on Monday. More disturbing. It's more disturbing when you remember that all these are read in the manual uh, to check whether uh, there is a fuel contamination or uh, overheat indication of the cockpit, whatever it is. Are you also looking at giving them more orientation? What, what sort of uh, training and orientation, reorientation uh, are you giving them? Well, that's why I say it depends on our findings of the audit. That will depend on the action we'll, uh, that will uh, 
will determine the action that the authority will take over. We need to find the root cause. Uh, if it's training, what well, we insist they do the training, it is the processes or procedures that have been followed. They have to uh, convince us and find ways of uh, complying with those uh, processes uh, to ensure the, uh, the safety of uh, flight operations. All right. Uh, Captain Musa Nuhu, uh, Director General of the Nigeria Civilization Authority, thank you very much for joining us. Mm -hmm.